All right. Um, I'm going to go over this a little bit by a little bit. I'm trying to not mess up a little bit here. Um, this is the Ultra 10. I have previously made a video on, or a couple of videos. I don't know exactly what I've put up yet. Uh, but suffice it to say, there was one video that I was not able to put up because I did not like how it turned out. Um, there's a lot of bodge wires and stuff happening here. This is not the final uh, iteration of how everything, how I want everything to be. However, I'm going to go over this a little bit and just uh, show what I've done. Um, I originally got this Ultra 10 uh, stock, 440 megahertz, 512 megs of RAM, uh, and a I would have to say 18, 20 gig Maxter hard drive installed in lieu of I believe it was a Seagate these usually came with. Um, 250 watt power supply, floppy disk, no second hard drive. Um, as you can see, it's not too stock anymore. Um, I have added a FireWire card, a USB card. Both are Adaptic branded and both work perfectly in this system. Um, added a fan onto the UltraSpark 2. I, which uh, is running at 440 megahertz still. This fan actually helps cool it and its uh, little spark-based cast chips. I replaced the front fan because the front fan was dead. It, 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 the bearings sounded like they had rocks in them. Uh, I added a fan to help with the airflow because this machine right now as it stands, um, it's on its head. So, um, it's sort of... Like, not, it, it's not right side up. Uh, still has 512 megs of RAM. I haven't really done anything with that yet because RAM is expensive for these a little bit. Uh, replaced the power supply. Uh, if you're wondering about that couplet, that's for holding screws and stuff when I have them on the, uh, the desk so I don't actually lose them. Uh, it's sort of shuffled around a bit because I had to clean off uh, the, well, I have it sitting on top of this Toshiba laptop here for the moment. Because my desk is a wreck, so to say. I um, have a couple more hard drives installed. This one right here is the main boot drive. Uh, it is IDE 250 gig. Uh, down here is a 250 gig SATA drive. And this right here is a... Um, actually, no, this isn't 250 gig. This is... Hmm. I think this is 250 gig. I think this is 250 gig. I could be wrong. This could be like 80 or 120. I for completely forget now. Um, I have that one. This one's 750 gig. And it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's still a Seagate, though, so not anything I'd really trust all too much. It's just in there for uh, shits and giggles right now. Uh, I added a fan on the back there. Help with the airflow a little bit. The 40 watt power supply is actually meant for a Pentium 4 box, but close enough. <laughs> um, I have not really yet tested the floppy drive, however, that's hooked up. Uh, the front fan is hooked up to 5 volts on one of the Molex rails, and be this is because well, both that one and this one are both hooked up to the to 5 volt on Molex. The reason because of that is because the fan port, which is right in here... I don't know if you can make it out, but right here where I'm pointing. I can't really... Right there. You really can't see it. Lighting is really bad, but it's right there. I swear it's right there. Um, it's a three-pin header, and only two pins are connected. There's no uh, RPM sensor or anything like that. And um, that's all it does. It's just, it supplies voltage to it, and it runs this 92mm uh, delta fan in the front here uh, way too fast. <laughs> um, it actually sounds like a wind tunnel with it operating, and this entire system would probably get more airflow had this not been running on 5 volts, but it pushes a very decent amount of air at 5 volts. The front of the machine is actually still cold. Uh, like, there, you can feel the cold air coming through, so... I'm not all too worried about that. Uh, the UltraSpark 2i with the fan on here, and that, and 
this fan, which is a 92 millimeter uh, thermistor fan. I believe this is Nidec or NMB. It's NMB Matsushita uh, out of a Dell. Uh, that really helps with the airflow as well and getting some air down here and out the exhaust here and out the power supply. So uh, that was a big thing there. <clears throat> oh, I just had breakfast repeat on me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that certainly didn't taste good. Um, give me a second. I have to... Uh, all better. Okay. Um, there is a SATA card in here. This is a Silicon Image 3112, uh, SII 3112. Uh, based Adaptec card as well. So all three of the cards are Adaptec. That's funny. Uh, but this is really just a Silicon Image chipset. Um, and it had the proper ROM size for me to go ahead and pop on a uh, open firmware uh, compatible boot uh, ROM and stuff. So I did that. I'm not sure if it'll boot, but it at least uh, is seen by the system properly. I did not try it with the PC firmware at all, but I know... <coughs> For a fact that with this firmware I could boot it on the Mac if I wanted to and right now uh, the system sees and uses this card just fine no problems um, there's only two ports on it hence 3112 3114 has four ports I really only need the 3112 and that's pretty much it um, I'm most likely going to see if I can get the uh, ROM off of one of the newer, um, oh, what's the name of the company? Uh, the, the other company that I know of that makes uh, parts for these. And because uh, they have a newer one that I actually have one of. And I can't think of it off the top of my head because I haven't had enough coffee. Uh, we recently just got some coffee again, so I'm indulging in it as I can. Um, you see up here there's some... Uh, very interesting pieces of metal. Uh, underneath this chip right here is the Ethernet PHY chip for the Sun Happy Meal, which is underneath this piece of steel right here. Um, this heatsink goes all the way down there, and it's not touching anything or anything like that, but it's just a piece of flat metal to help spread the heater off the Happy Meal because these do get pretty hot. Uh, the Ethernet PHY is the thing that gets the most hot, but I don't have anything that would fit in that particular size when I originally did this. So I just stuck a piece of metal off it. This is actually from uh, a hard drive spindle. And this is the piece of metal that uh, was touching the neodymium magnet or it was on the other side of the neodymium magnet or something. So these all, both came out of a recycled hard drive. And uh, they actually do their job. Uh, this gets pretty hot still and everything's okay with it. I mean, it, it, I put some thermal compound and super glue and stuff, and that, that works. And this one, you can just make out the thermal compound. I think there, yeah, there, there's some thermal compound and super glue here that's keeping it on, and it's on there. It ain't going anywhere. Um, the problems that I have with mine currently is that this one has um, uh, stock, uh, well, stock, it had some... Uh, has some very interesting capacitors. They're IQ branded. And I had all seven of these I had to replace. Because five of them had blown. And I was scared for the other two to be out of spec. So I just replaced all of them with uh, the same type of capacitors. But they're all Rubicon from around 2003. Uh, they are all recovered capacitors from my motherboard that I kept for such an occasion. And they all work perfectly. Uh, the pitch was a little off so I had to bend the pins a little bit to get them into the uh, holes. But... At the end of the day, they are soldered in, and they are there, and it works beautifully. No problems. Um, I'm going to see if I can get the rest of those uh, capacitors off that board as well. That way I can scrap the board and not really have to worry about it. Um, and on here is also 80 millimeter. That one's actually on 5 volts as well, because it too is a screen metal death trap on... Well, not screen metal, but screen plastic death trap on uh, 12 volts. And half of the reason is because, like, 20% of the fan is not uh, being used uh, going through these exhaust holes in the back. Um, I have found that using a 60 or 70 millimeter fan would probably be a lot better in this case uh, to put back there. Like, 
this. That is a 60 millimeter fan. But the problem is, is that I really want to be able to drill out a hole instead and uh, have that going like that as well. So like a, an 80 millimeter hole, that way I can get some airflow through and not just whatever. Because this hard drive still gets pretty hot. Um, this hard drive definitely uh, gets warm. This one, not so much, because this one in the front, oh, it has a vent. And that's because this was originally where the optical drive was. And I have the optical drive here. Uh, this is one that I got as a salvage unit out of a computer, oh, years ago. And this has been one of those interesting ones that I have. Uh, if you look up this particular model on uh, like the internet, you will see many very angry forum posts about how this DVD drive is a piece of utter shit. That's the only way that I can uh, describe it. Not only that, but you can only burn DVD plus R and RW discs with this. Um, so, yeah. However, you can read regular DVD RRs and uh, CDR, CDRWs, burn CDR, CDRWs just fine. No problems. Um, the power supply, I did have to replace a fan in, so that's not the original fan for the back. Uh, they came with some, uh, some quiet fans or something, I forget exactly what brand, but it had a rough spot on one of the bearings, and it was making a lot of noise, so I got rid of it. Um, and this one's really weird because it has two 70 millimeter fans, and there's up there, in there, a, uh, Delta squirrel cage fan, or... At night, a squirrel cage fan of some kind. It's green. And it exhausts out this area right here. And I actually had to remove one of the vents there so that some more airflow can go through. I don't think it really makes all too much of a difference with a hard drive over it. So, I'm not so certain as to how to get any more airflow through that and or what have you that's sort of the next step is figuring stuff like that out <laughs> <clears throat> um my particular unit was made uh march 20th of 2001 as you can see there that's when it was uh passed for quality control and uh date codes on the board do match that so this is the original motherboard and um that's about it if you are thinking about replacing the power supply in your Sun Ultra 10, should you have one, they take a standard ATX power supply for its 20 pin. I have the other four pins hanging off the side there. They just uh, touch the top of the clock crystal to the immediate right of the port there, if you can see it or not, sort of. And it works perfectly fine. There's also a six pin power right over here. Which is supposed to be, uh, it, like, it's uh, the ATX uh, version 1.2 six pin power. Like you'd have it in an old Pentium 3 box. And all that does is it powers this card slot here, which is for the Creator 3D cards or whatever uh, add-on graphics card you want to add there, the UPA slot. And this had a Creator 3D because it is a Sun Ultra 10 Creator 3D. And uh, I took it out. That's going to someone that has requested it. More on that later. And <sighs> better off in their hands than mine. Sorry for the uh, yawning. I'm tired still. And it's what? It's almost 10 a.m. in the morning on this beautiful Friday, June 19th, 2015. So if I update, if I put this up on YouTube a little later, you'll understand a little, uh, a little bit why as to, uh, why I'm so tired. Not because it's morning, not because it's night. I stayed up until about 2 a.m. in the morning last night, and then at like 4.30 in the morning, two of the cats upstairs had some sort of a big fight, and they woke me up and, uh, my mom up. My mom was like, oh, what the fuck you two don't know? And it was just like... Why are you two fighting? Go to, go to sleep or something. I don't care if you guys are like nocturnal or something. Go to sleep. Let us sleep. Just go away from each other at the very least. And I don't know. So that's about it. That's all I can show for the inside of this. I'm going to end this here. Um, got a comment? Leave a comment. And until next time, I shall see you. Or you'll see me.
or not.